Hey, Sigma here. And tonight I am sitting down with another demo of Hans Reich's team playing Cold Front or possibly Warm Front. I don't know. Haven't got out of the spawn yet, so I don't know. Uh, against a group of what looks like some Lu players, maybe a Pug or something. I'm not sure if it's a team, but. Yeah, what we've got here looks like an hour-long demo, thereabouts, so... Uh, unfortunately, I have no mumble comms this time, so I'll just try to be talking through as much as possible. Maybe fast-forwarding some parts if there's just sitting and nothing going on. Uh, or m maybe I'll just cut it after, like, 30 minutes, if my voice is getting tired of just droning on and on about pushes and advantage and blah 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 blah. So, uh, I think I have my volume sitting right, so let's just uh, hit it and see what we got. There's free cam. Alright. So, w while I was taking a break from TF2, I guess some people sat on this map and uh, just looked at the angles, and sure enough, there's a sight line from this tunnel here coming out of 2 onto the uh, cliff at mid. And it, f judging from the health of the soldiers, nobody's doing this here, but somebody posted a video uh, of just knocking yourself down under 40 health and then equalizing out, grabbing health really quick, and then throwing long range spam rockets at cliff to cut down the potential options of the enemy demo, or get some free damage on him if he does decide to go cliff. So I think that's something on this map considering it's going to be around for at least another season or so, that teams should really start incorporating into their rollout, just because it's like, you know, a chance of 50 free damage on mid, and it doesn't make your health suffer thanks to crit heals, so might as well do it. But, okay, let's go. Let's see this mid fight. See how they play it. So we've got Demo's Cliff Scouts on. So their demo took damage right away, and he's moving really far up. He gets a pick, but the expense of his... T I guess there's a trade with the demo, so... It's okay, so this is just gonna turn into fragging. Actually, a surprisingly even mid. And health advantage swings into the favor of Hans Reich's team. Oh, almost let that go through. Okay. So I guess... That was fairly straightforward. They just landed one extra rocket. I was surprised that their demo actually managed to pick the other demo uh, up on this side. I thought moving up like that he was going to die to a scout for sure without having support of his scouts considering they come in from the other side of mid. But uh, sometimes DM makes magic happen. And now we see... Oh, I guess the other med lived, so this is an even exchange here. But they get the pop out first. Uh, and kill the soldier, so they should just run right in. Uh, some unnecessary flashing there. Could have kept it on one person and maybe soaked the damage from extra rocket, or at least made the uh, soldier hold it for a second more. But it doesn't look like it's going to matter. The, that difference on Uber is enough to just roll this round. And starts to make me wonder how this game takes an hour, considering the first round was done in like a minute 40. <laughs> But uh, this map, or at least uh, Cold Front, is pretty capable of stalemating, and I imagine this one's last is quite similar. So, well, yeah, I will not be too surprised. So I guess I'm on the blue side coming to mid, so let's see what it looks like from their perspective. Let's see if this demo can avoid getting picked this time. And there's the demo freely using Cliff again. Disadvantage goes to Hans Reich's teams right off the start. Killed the demo, so I would not commit at this point, because they do not have... Uh, the spam that's necessary to win. They do have nice damage, so maybe that's their justification, but there's a nice pullback there. Now, I think that's pretty risky, because this area here that I'm flying around in is so easy for a soldier just bomb right onto your head, and as a medic, you just go down. Like, if, uh, I feel if the blue team had played extremely aggressive based off that early demo pick, they would have capitalized on this and pushed it right through. But now they're waiting, and waiting too long, so 
they turned it into an even fight. What could have been a med pick and a roll. Except for some reason. Red's backing up. Is there demo with them? He's on the far side. Okay. Uh, nah, I won't pause. Yeah, I'll pause. Okay. I really don't like that style. It is. I don't know. The style that was played like two years ago, where you have the demo uh, constantly on the flank with the scouts, and the the combo consists of two soldiers, one who jumps more and one who plays more defensive. The uh, defensive one being the pocket, the aggressive one being the roamer. I feel like that way of playing is a little bit outdated, and maybe they were doing it here just because their demo was from Swan, I didn't see where he was moving, so perhaps they're excused, but the demo can put so much damage out in combo fights and is relatively poor at fighting against scouts on the flank compared to what a soldier can do, I feel like it's a waste of your demo to be splitting him away from your combo, and the roaming soldier like, obviously he'll be being more effective with 300 health all the time, but Roaming Soldier can play quite well on flanks, unlike, not, uh, Demo definitely can't do as much work, because it's harder for him to 1v1 scouts, and, you know, all that jazz, so, uh, maybe I went too in detail on that, but whatever, let's keep going. Although I do like this move they just did. Uh, people may think when you're holding that it's a good idea to just uh, <laughs> gotta keep pausing. It's a good idea to um, just hold back and let your spam do the pop. But a very strong play is to take your combo forward and ensure that you're do just doing a single uber on your pocket by running him and your med forward and catching their med demo and whatever uh, poor soul happens to be caught in their combo at that time, forcing a multi-uber to get a stronger uber than them. And as you can see, it worked out really well here. So that was just a nice movement, recommitting in once uh, they had managed to split up and get their uh, uber just on the pocket. So this is going to be clean up here. Ooh, oh, the med was full health. Yeah, it's fine to jump over the sticky there. That's a good play. Getting in as fast as possible. So here's a cap. Uber advantage dictates that red should take two, and there's not enough spawns to really make a suicide. I don't like that suicide play from the single scout when he had two spawns. If they were gonna do something, they should have waited for two or three people to go. Uh, now they're just in bleed players mode, so hands right. Uh, huh? Hans? Hans? Hans's team is in a great position to just take advantage of this. It's just like roll country. And as you can see, they've pushed the combo all the way out. This is easy to cap. Or it would be until they lost their demo. Don't understand how that happened, really. And now they're kind of in a rough spot. They don't have the damage contributed from the demo. But I think the Uber is enough to get the cap but it won't be enough to capitalize. And it would be a mistake for Blue to push right now. They should be staying back. Where's the med? Okay, good. Good job. Although, they should not spawn a sniper here. They should spawn both scouts, and they should push, like, right now, because they have still a scout down, and I'm mentoring the wrong team, but dropping Uber is never a good idea. This is just chaotic. <laughs> so I guess we're gonna sit here a while, so let's just fast forward. Oh, that's not my fast forward button. I don't know if I have it bound. Well, whatever. Yeah, I'll bind that for next time. Maybe, maybe I'll just bind it during this demo sometime. I don't know. Okay, so we've charged. Let's see how the push is taken. They did have advantage, and it was clear that they had advantage. So I think it's a bit of a mistake to wait like this, but not too grievous because uh, 
it's so easy to kite around this last point. <coughs> so, I'm not sure what they're doing here. This kind of like peaking without hope of getting pushed. I guess they're just deciding where they're going. Now they're going to take this Uber. And on a push like you just got to pop. Okay, good. On a push like this, really the focus is not to cap. The focus is to try to get a health advantage and kite their Uber away. And then uh, repush with the slight Uber advantage you had. Now they didn't force the pop, but they did get picks and they almost got the pocket there. So I guess they're going to lose two, but it was the right idea what they were doing, not over committing. But it would have been nicer to have a soldier right on the medic's head to force that pop out and run away rather than just kind of having some presence and hoping they pop on you. And I gotta get back on the red side. This is the guys I'm supposed to be watching. Okay, so bad pop from blue, but uh, jumping against pipes get, it caused that to happen, and now they should be able to clean up mid. Yeah. And I think it would be a bad idea for the demo to try something here. Oh, but he's already in. Okay, well, no choice. And they didn't know he was in? What the heck? Gotta pay more attention to what's going on here. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense that he would have been able to get around them like that and ha shoot three stickies behind them like that without uh, them noticing. So I think Blue needs to turn up their sound a bit. Perhaps. <laughs> now this is a really good time to suicide scouts because they just got three spawns. So I'd be running in right now while the charge is going. Because it's not like they're going to be able to push. It's for the last point. And scout swan has come back in so fast, but instead I think we're gonna sit and wait. But oh there's a pick. Not that it matters because of the timing. But still, good play. Soldier with the peace hat there. Okay. What do I Alright, I like this timing, taking the Uber right away. Uh Turns out, I mean, the pick was gone, but they have the right idea. I would almost just back up now with the two lost players. No, okay, they're joining. They have to pop. So this is really like, get on the med, get out. Right now. Good job. So, smart decision from the medic. You just gotta ditch people here, you're gonna get chased. This is probably a loss on two, just because getting forced to pop after you already lost two players is, uh not a good situation and sure enough blue is not disappointing and they're pushing they lose their demo which is kind of what I was talking about a mistake from Han Han eh? uh? Hans, is Hans? man I'm, I suck okay this guy's team uh, sending the demo unsupported on flank just leaves you uh, it, it's an unnecessary risk really like having that 260 health gives you a buffer so if you even make a mistake you can still come back from it and the advantage that they had was significant enough that they should have been able to push to but they were not able to because they lost that demo to pipes early on in the push which is just you could say it's bad luck but it's a symptom of sending the demo alone on flank and not with the combo <laughs> that Girardi is just painful